G'day and welcome back to the channel and welcome to DaVinci Resolve 18.5. Yes, that is right. Resolve has released a new version, which of course is 18.5. So at the moment, of course, this version is in beta form. Now, what does beta form mean? It means two things. One, that it is a work in progress. And the other thing is, is that it'll probably crash a lot more than the full version, hopefully, anyway. So today in 18.5, we're going to be looking at the new effect, which is the relight. So I'm going to show you how to set it up, and then I'll show you the three different options you can use in this effect. So at the moment here, we have two nodes in our node area. So nothing exciting going on, just a very basic grade. What we're going to do, we're going to make a new node after this one. So Alt S, which will create a serial node. Now in this one here, this is going to be our map. So we're going to map the light in our image here. So come up to effects and then just type in re for relight and then put it on. So now that effect has been generated, we're going to make this node again, our map of our light. So what you want to do is you want to come up to output surface map and click this little button here. Alrighty, so now that's generated the next step. So I'm new to this effect, but the way I'm looking at this image here is a bit like false color. So this pink here and this pink here are very similar in brightness and this and this are very similar in brightness and this green is completely different brightness. So the way I'm looking at it again is false color. So it's measuring the amount of light on this image in the different parts of this image. So now what we want to do is we want to make another node. So again, Alt S and because we're already in effects, we can just bring relight across and put it down onto this node here. What we want to do is go to surface map, change from use internal to input to. All right, so as you can see, we don't actually have an image. That's because we need to connect these nodes up properly. So we can get rid of this effect panel. We don't need that. So what we want to do is we want to disconnect this one here and bring this one here into this little triangle here. Now we want to feed this one here into this one here. So now we have three options. We have directional, point source, and spotlight. So let's go through them quickly. So let's start with spotlight. Now, the best way to look at spotlight is this. Think of it as a torch. This is the handle of the torch, and this is the beam of light from that torch. So now we can make adjustments to that torch or spotlight. So we can bring our brightness down, which will bring down the brightness of that beam of light. Reach, if we bring that up, will affect more of the area. So let's bring our brightness up again. Let's bring our reach down a little bit. Let's go to the surface properties. So what does that mean? That means how that light is hitting that area. So we put our glossiness up. As you can see, we're getting this glossy parts of the light on our body here. Now I'm not 100% sure on this one here. So I'm just gonna skip that for now. Now shadow softness is kind of like when you use a power window and you soften it out. So it's about the edges of that pan window, and this one will be the edges of that shadow. Now, beam angle is the width of your beam. So we put that right up. We're obviously getting a bigger beam from that line, and then down, maybe somewhere around about there, we're getting a much thinner beam. Now let's just reset that. So if you move down to edge hardness, again, this is like a power window. So at the moment, we're right up, which means it's a really soft, edge on our beam of light. But if we were to bring this right down, as you can see, we have this really pronounced edge light. All this is great, but at the moment we can't actually see anything. All we can see is this weird looking gray and black image. So what you wanna do is you wanna come up to here, relighting map preview and take that off. To actually affect this light, you wanna come down to gain here and gamma, and just bring it right up. So you're adding in brightness to your scene. And again, we'll do a fair bit just to really show the effect of it. Okay, now as you can see, we zoom right in. Because we have our edge hardness down, you can really see that edge of the light. And let's make it even brighter. Now let's take away the edge hardness. And as you can see, we don't see that edge hardness anymore. Let's push up our reach. Then we're brightening the image a lot more. But if we bring our reach all the way down, we are darkening that area. And again, same with brightness. So as you can see, we push that brightness right up. 
we're getting a much brighter area. So we bring this right back and then right forward again, you can really see that light. So it is a little bit strange spotlight and maybe something I wouldn't use that often. And we can go to our um, glossiness here. And if we play around with this, as you can see, if we put it right up, we get these really weird kind of areas and then right down, more or less softens those areas. So point source, the best way to think of point source, this is our lamp. So all the light from our lamp comes from this source here. So let's say the lamp is chilling out over here. Now our lamp at the moment is turned about halfway down, but if we were to turn our lamp all the way up, we are brightening that area of the image, which of course is brightening more of our image. Now, if we turn our lamp all the way down, our image is getting darker. That is because we're turning that source down, which of course is point source. But the way I think about it is it's a lamp. So anywhere you put this lamp is where that light is gonna come from. Now, even if we were to put our lamp off screen, we're still getting that light from off screen. So again, if we were to turn our lamp up or our source of light up, we're still getting a lot of light. And again, if we bring it down, we are reducing that light. If you wanna see how that light is affecting the image, you can come up to relighting map preview again, and that will show you how much of that light is hitting your image. So at the moment here, as you can see, it's brightest here, and then it gradually loses that level of brightness. So if we bring it right up, it is brightening more of our scene like this. So that is the very basics of point source. So again, the way I think about it is you're putting a lamp in your scene. So wherever you put it, that is where the source of light is coming from. It's pretty good, not too bad. Alrighty, so let's move on to the best one, which is directional. So the way I think about directional is that it's a sun, meaning that wherever your light is coming through in your scene, that is where you should be aiming directional. So at the moment here, obviously our light is coming from this window here and this part here, which is also a window. So we put on relighting map preview. So as you can see, it makes sense that our light is coming from this area here because this is our windows. So it'd be really strange if we put directional over here because there is actually no light coming from this area. So if you want directional to look natural, I would say, Aim it to where the light is coming from in your scene. Now, if you have an image that's completely flat, then this would be a good way to give your character more three dimension in their lighting. So let's look at this light. We have our brightness right up. Again, if we bring this down, same as the other lights. Now, if we look at contrast, meaning the contrast from this light here to this light here, if we were to bring this right up, we have a much stronger contrast. So let's take off relighting map preview. So as you can see, we have this really horrible looking image. It doesn't look natural at all. So maybe we could bring the softness of those shadows all the way up, but still we're getting a really, really ugly image. So let's bring our contrast down a fair bit, something that's more natural. Also at the moment, our glossiness is right down. And that means we're getting these really high levels of light. So if we were to bring this further up, we would soften those lights out quite a fair bit, which would probably give it a more natural look anyway. Now let's talk about something that no one seems to be talking about, and that is adding color into your light. Now I wanna find out exactly where this light is hitting. So I'm gonna go up to relighting map preview here. Now I'm gonna bring this around till I get something that's hitting the face a lot more. Okay, so something there that looks pretty good. So let's take a relighting map preview off. Let's go to our gain here and let's push some orange yellow in and let's do again with the gamma. Let's add some more brightness in. Around there looks pretty good. Now let's go full screen. So this is with the effect off. We have a more neutral looking image here. Now this is with the effect on. So as you can see, we have this nice rim light affecting our area here, and this is a different color. So it's giving our image a more three-dimensional look to it, and we're getting this nice rim light here, 
and nice lighting on the face. We're getting more light on the background. Now, what's really interesting about this is that it looks really natural. It looks like there's an actual light over here hitting this character here. Now, this is a little bit extreme. So, of course, we could finesse this to get an even more natural looking image. But I think the Resolve has done a really good job with this effect. I was a bit skeptical at the start when I started using it, but I'm actually pretty impressed by it. And I think it's something I might actually use in the future. But what do you think? Do you think this is a good effect? Do you think it's something you would actually use? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think of 18.5. I've only just started using it, so a lot to go through. But my favorite with Relight is, of course, directional and something I would recommend you guys using and playing around with. And let me know in the comments below how you find Relight. Is it chugging your system a lot? And how many times has Resolve crashed since using it? So thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see anything else. I've been Drew from Yingo Productions, and thanks again.